next, a welterweight title fight between Bruce Lee and Johnny Hendricks. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Johnny Hendricks. I hope you guys gonna like it. championship fight so these fighters relatively close in age just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach once again here is the veteran voice of the octagon bruce buck ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon dan mergliata and now this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 18 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, presenting the challenger, Johnny Big Rig Hacker. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Is there. His ideal fight 
is a grind. As ugly as he can make it, it's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. I need you to move, scramble. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Right punches there. Hendricks gets back up. Oh, Hendricks gets stunned by that leg kick. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Misses with the left hook. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. This is exciting. Right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in Working out of the half guard here. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Big read, ground and pound from half guard now. Lands with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Now connects with the right. Slips the punch nicely there. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together. Tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. Doing a great job of putting everything together. Slicing over and lands on the punch. Big ball to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Right left combo by Hendricks. Got the single collar tie. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice punch there by Johnny Hendricks. Caught the kick. defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh! Oh, straight right! How about that chin? Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And they separate. Big punch man over the top. And that one certainly found the target. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Another straight left. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming about. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. So a five minutes down. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out.
All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work that he did in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not hitting her, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside with the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight, huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Nice punch, man. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows take down, cut, take down, cut, over and over to secure these takedowns. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Hendricks. Nice hammer fist. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Hendricks' lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh! Takedown attempt without issue. 
Look at him whip his hips. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Can't take many of those, you better check. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great... is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Nice straight punch. Oh, man! Huge kick to the body. Oh! Nice leg kick land. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Got clip with the right hand. Takedown defense holds up. Well, he continues to land a high. Oh, look at this. He lands him. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, Hendricks gets caught with that punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. gets hit by that leg kick. Look at the turtle in that kick. And both guys really thrown with authority. So that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. And now goes in and secures the takedown. Flush right hand is true. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Now the hammer fist here by Hendricks. Lee's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Good work from the top here by Hendricks. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Look at him drive his shit into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Oh, what goes up must come down. 
as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of technique. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Nice. Nice shot inside by the champion. Right now, looks like Steve Green could go. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. In right off the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. the takedown without issue. You got him. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Nice kick. Separate. Inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Hendrix's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Connects with a right. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, hammer fist here by Hendricks. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Hendricks is back in side control. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nice combination of strikes here from the top. Standing over his opponent. Not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Back oh, in the that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of him. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Big punch lands. Ooh. 
Big leg kick lands. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Same collar tie now. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, side control now. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Ground and pound strike there now. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so you see the cut on the eyebrow is only getting worse as we come to the end of this round, and the fighter quickly back to the stool. That cut's gonna get some attention, but again, as soon as he absorbs another strike, that thing figures to open right back up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Final round, you ready? Fifth and final round. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Hendricks. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life because the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Close guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Punch coming, it's blocked.
stuffs the takedown, no shot. problem. Oh, high amplitude slam for him there, wow! Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. He lands flush with that right hand. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Hendricks going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Able to land the single ground strike there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhooks. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Hendricks. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slight lean to the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. So thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Johnny Hendricks. Thank you guys for watching. undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. This was a title fight that really had it all. And again, we've said it before, we will say it again. It is going to take a Herculean effort to dethrone this man at 170 pounds.